welcome back to the best channel welcome back to another video by all small stuff i happen to be all small stuff and thank you so much for tuning in on yet another video um today we have a story time i know i haven't had a story time in a while you guys have been asking for one before anything i just want to say this is my third time trying to record the story time the first time i didn't record the second time i didn't like the quality and third time is a charm um, I think oh, baby girls and sisters are working overtime so that I don't tell the story. <laughs> they are working overtime so that I don't tell the story. And if this time it doesn't work out and there's something I don't like or something happens, uh, then her ancestors won. She wins. She wins. But yes, please don't forget to like, please don't forget to comment, and please don't forget to subscribe. I hope you do enjoy. Wait. So, there is something new happening on our channel. We are trying new things. We are trying bigger and better things. So I've activated, I've activated my super thanks. Um, for those that don't know what super thanks is, is it's, it should be right, right below the, the description box. I'm not sure where it's supposed to be, but from other people's channels that I've seen, it's usually like there. Um, so super thanks basically is if you would like to super thank me <laughs> with a few rams and you just click on that it's not compulsory it's completely if you'd like to or not you don't have to if you don't want to you don't have to if you don't have um but yeah it would help me buy some nappies if we're being honest but <laughs> please do try that feature out you know just try let's try and let's see what it takes us but yes i do have my super thanks activated and if you do enjoy this video and you do really like this video i would really really appreciate it if you gave me a super thanks anyway let's get into the video so we all know it's not really a video if it doesn't have something to marinate and serenade my throat so i am having wine um to be honest it's robertson's boxed wine i love boxed wine you guys know this i'm in love with boxed wine but because i look so good and i look like shmoni i look you know let's just say it's 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 pinotage or, or, or melo you know Azimbi. but let's just say that's what this is but between me and you it's robertson's wine sweet red you guys know I don't like bitter wine, so I don't even know why I'm trying to act fresh. But anyway, let's get into the story. Um, as I was doing my makeup, the first time I recorded, the first time, not today, I was not sure if I should tell this story because I still am kind of hurt. Um, this happened two years ago. I still am kind of touched, um, but at the same time, I'm, I don't care. I don't care about them. <laughs> but I still am am touched I wish guys when you become friends with someone and they are shot they're not good friends they're shot friends I wish they come with a board like on their on their um, forehead so you don't invest anything in that friendship because then that saves all of us you know I wish if I knew that later on in life um, um, big girl would be shot then I, 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 you know, I, it would have, if she had a board, she came with a board, it would have saved me a lot of heartache, a lot of drama, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of anger. I'm, I'm still very angry. I think that's the word I should use, not, not that I'm still touched um, or still hurt. Low key, I'm, but let's not use that. I'm still very angry um, and yeah, I, I'm still boiling. There's a fairness in my heart, like, you know? But yeah, anyway, um, so. Let me tell you guys about my friendships, right? Most of my friends are from high school or varsity, right? I'm a person that has long-term friendships. Um, my friends are like 12, 13 years ago friends. You know, like I have long-term friendships. Um, beginning of varsity, my closest friends are from beginning of varsity. The few friends that I have acquired now as like an adult out of school and like having a young adult life is, is probably friends that I acquired from my husband, maybe his friends or his friends' partners and then I become friends with them type of thing um, when we're all hanging out type of thing. But most of the friendships that I have are long-term friendships. They, 13 years 14 years 15 years like ago you know like we we grew up together 
basically grew up together and i'm a person that keeps friendships because i believe i'm a, I'm a damn good friend let's leave belief i am a good friend and most of my all of my friends that i have in my life are great friends amazing friends and that's why i'd like to keep them i wouldn't want to lose them and I know they wouldn't want to lose me because I'm a good friend, guys. One thing about me, I'm a good friend. I I might like you know talk to you once in a while, but like when you need me, I'm there. You know, I'm a, I'm a damn good friend. And whoever has something else to say, we're like, oh, God. oh God. Anyway, so baby girl and I friendship started in high school obviously you guys know my my past my my boarding school <laughs> my boarding school life um christian strict um you guys know that right um so we're in grade 10 so i started in the school in what grade 8 i started if you get in the school in grade 8 and i made friends with my grade 8 class and then the following year in grade 9 more people came to the school befriended most of some of them as well ganjalo ganjalo you get me and and you know we as hostelites um slept together so when you sleep in the hostel you slept with your classmates so grade eights all had their own room grade nines had their own rooms grade tens so you basically sleep with these people you go to school with these people you eat break with these people you at line up at assembly you guys are all standing in the same line or you guys go to church you guys are all sitting in the same row type of thing you get me so you are always with these people so we then became friends technically family but you know we all became friends and as hostelites man we we're very tight like we we're like we we're always together we didn't have a choice you know we didn't have a choice we we're literally always together so oh baby girl what am i gonna name her i don't even to be honest <laughs> i don't have good thoughts of her so i don't have a positive or a good name but because i'm a child of the lord i will force myself otherwise the names that are coming up in my head are very mean but i am child of god so we will name her you we'll name her magdalena aka maggie aka magda aka mg you get me the name of baby girl Magdalena. Um, Magdalena was not in the hostel. She was a day scholar. Um, so she she was like a typical come in the morning, leave after school, go home type of person. Um, so day scholars and 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 um, hostelites were not really like tight. There were those few friendships here and there, but like we weren't like really tight. All because um, and Ama hostelites were looked down upon you get me like we were called hungry we were called homeless we were called um naughty like we had like a lot of there was a, a negative connotation towards ama hostelites you get me so that's why i think we all like were together and we stuck together because nobody really wanted to befriend us but also it wasn't a thing that like other kids say about us it was mostly like the teachers or the principals or HODs or whatever that would say those things about us and then the other kids would like say it also but like making fun of us but like not really like trying to be mean or anything you know so there was this negative connotation towards hostelites and nobody really wanted to be friends with hostelites but hostelites were friends with hostelites type of thing but they were those day scholar friendships you get and then oh baby girl came into school what grade nine she's a twin um so she came with her twin brother um now the people who i went to high school with know exactly who i'm talking about and i don't care <laughs> i don't care i don't care i don't care about them if you think this is about i didn't do the disclaimer if you think this is about you of the sounds like a, a, a version of events where you were there, i don't care it's you <laughs> it's you <laughs> i don't care baby girl comes to the school in grade 10 um we've already established friendships from grade 8 she gets to, to the school in grade 10 she's a day scholar so automatically she befriends day scholars and, and that's okay um cool and it was just a high like our relationship was a high by type of situation it wasn't that deep you know hi Marta. hi oi please borrow me a ruler borrow me eraser you know please sign the register for me type of thing it wasn't that deep but we're cool 
and then so I was friends with everyone I was friends with every grade I didn't care I was friends with boys girls church people I didn't care you know so I was close with some of the boys in our class like tight and it got to a point so this is how Magdalene and I became friends it got to a point where the boys in our class would like make fun of her looks excuse me then make fun of the way she looks and just like be mean and I would just be like no but then why, why would y'all do that why why is that okay like are you not cognizant of how it's making her feel like if people made such comments about you like how do you feel and you guys know how high school boys are high school boys are ruthless like high school boys will tell you exactly what you look like and you have to take it because who you complain to but I it, it just wasn't nice man like I would imagine if I was on the receiving end I wouldn't like that you know so I'd obviously be like no but you guys can't do that like it's not it's not cute it's not even funny like Sia Shegi Sia Sharp is like we're funny me and my friends were funny yeah we're funny I'm like yeah Sia Shegi Sia Sharp but then there are some things that are just not funny and like what you guys are doing is not funny so that's how her and I became friends because I'd stand up for her with the boys and some no Jabu 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 don't do that don't do that you know so that's how we became friends. Um, I remember we went on a trip, a uh, school trip, so I had a Jobic theatre to go watch a, a play. I think it was Othello. Yeah, I think it was Othello. And the boys were making fun of her there. And then I was just like, you know what, just come sit by me. Like, F them. Come sit by me. And then that's how we like started a friendship. And it became like quick, fast and hard, tight friendship, you know? We became tight very quickly um, to a point where when she'd come to school in the mornings instead of waiting at school she'd come down to the hostel and wait for us hostelized to get ready just chill with us in our room you know we're tight and she then became friends with the whole squad now um but i wasn't the only friend that she gained entrance in into the squad she was also friends with other people from our class uh, my friends are very friendly to be honest my friends are very friendly so eventually she became part of our crew um, and we'd just hang with her and it would be fun. Even at break, she'd come chill with us and then she got some of her um, um, day scholar friends also involved in our friends. We were a big group of friends. Like it was, it was cute, okay? It was cute and it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, so that was our high school life and we were tight. We were very tight. It was a high school life. We finished. There was a lot of drama that happened in high school. I don't want to get into it. I do, but it will just make this video very long but a lot of drama like for example there were things that happened in high school where people would say Magdalena did this and I'd be like no my friend she could never do that you know they'd be telling me Magdalena did this and I'd be like no she didn't no she didn't and I'd go to Magdalena and I'd be like show me did you do this she'd be like no I didn't I'd be like exactly that's what I said that's what I said you don't do that and then later on when we finished school she'd be like you remember that thing that I said I didn't do I did it I did it you know there was like those type of things um, she got into it with one of our other friends as well it was just like yeah there was a lot of drama that happened but doesn't matter this is about me and, and her current situation we finish high school we go to varsity um, in varsity she goes to a school in Brahm I won't mention its name I went to this I will mention its name <laughs> I'll mention his name because it's my institution, so I don't want to drag her institution in it. She went to a school in Bram. I went to Verts in Bram, so we'd see each other often. Um, cool. After three years um, of varsity, she graduates. So she graduates before me. Um, she gets a job in Bram as well um, in one of the departments in Bram, an office job. She gets a job. Um, so happy for her. And I then, if I cooked, or if, if, if I just wanted to see her or something, I'd go to her office and I'd just chill with her, bring her lunch, all of that. If she finished work and she didn't want to go catch a taxi home yet, she stayed in Soweto. She didn't want to catch a taxi home yet. She would come and, and chill at my place and we'd just hang out, you know. And that way she then became friends with my varsity friends now because i'd be hanging out with them and then she would come through and would all hang out type of thing um so the reason why i i said she i pointed out the fact that she stays in soweto is because um i would also go visit her 
I would also take a taxi to Soweto and we would have so much fun. We'd go to O Ubuntu Kral or Urban Grill or PDL. Like we would go out, you know. She stayed with her granny and her brother, her, bro her two brothers, her twin brother and her older brother in Soweto and her grandmother. And then I would go visit and we'd go out and have fun. Um, the vibe from Soweto and the vibe in Bram is completely different and I preferred the Soweto. I still do. I still do. <laughs> I still do and there's a certain way of life that I prefer that that um, um, the city and the suburbs doesn't doesn't uh, 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 give you know so even now I'd still go party so it will my husband and I still go to PDL and we still go to all these places but yeah anyway cool um, I go visit her would have fun you know would have a lot of fun and then I don't know if you guys remember the story time where um, the story I'll I think I'll link it up here. We went out and we got into like a brawl after the club, after SNK. We got into like a fight with the people we were with, type of thing. So this is the, and I said in the story, I'll tell you guys how that friendship ended. This is how the friendship ended. So this one time we go to Hepat. It's her birthday party. It's her birthday party um, in Soweto. I think it was Urban Girl. Yeah, I think she had a birthday party at urban girl so she invites us cool and it was 2020 i remember because i had already started dating my current partner and I, we started dating in 2019 so it was 2020 um it was her birthday and she then had a whole thing at urban girl we all went it was a lot of fun um and in that story time i told you guys that um her boyfriend bought savannah's um, and then she then shared the savannas with us, but her boyfriend was touched by why are you giving out savannas that I bought for you type of thing. So the reason I later, she later told me that the reason why she shared the savannas with us was because she was suspecting that she's pregnant. She was suspecting that she's of child. She's with child. She was suspecting that there's some growth happening in her tummy. You get me? So that's why she didn't want to drink much that night cool um she was suspecting that she's pregnant so she shared the savannas with us that night i should have seen her dodgy character that day because well except for the other past situations that should have made me see red flags uh because that night the people we fought with were her friends from i don't know where they were from i think from her area in so to where she stays because it was her birthday so she had invited um all her people and um some of the people i didn't know i only knew our high school friends and some of her varsity friends i didn't know like everybody that was there so she got into a fight with somebody that she had invited to the party who was her friend and beat her up like babamban like you get me like it was a street fight i got into it also i was a mess it was a mess child you know i'm someone's mom now i can't talk about it <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk about it. So I should have seen that. Would you, why would you get physical with your friend like that who came to your party type of thing? But anyway, um, that night happened. At this particular juncture, I'm still not seeing like anything weird. Yeah, but I'm still not seeing anything weird. We are still the friends that we were in, in high school. Nothing has changed. We are still ourselves we still chill we still talk we still vent we are still there for each other we still party i haven't said umts, umts in a while i actually have 25 minutes left to finish the story because there's load shedding in 25 minutes time we have load shedding at four and these lights are gonna go off when the load shedding hits so i have to finish so anyway and this is a long story <laughs> oh she sent me a text she's like yeah uh, can you talk i'm like yeah what's up she's like so i got something to tell you i'm pregnant i'm like oh for real what are you gonna do <laughs> what are you gonna do she's like no i'm keeping the baby i'm like oh okay did you tell baby daddy yes i told him whatever whatever, whatever. and I'm, now i'm just like okay if you're keeping the baby and you've told the baby daddy and you guys are both excited i'm also excited now now i'm also going into mommy mode i'm going into expecting mode i'm i'm excited i'm googling things she sends me what are those black and white pictures that doctors give you and you can't even see anything but just shape and and they tell you this is the head these are the feet and you're just like oh, okay but you don't see anything what are they called 
ultrasounds ultrasounds she shows me ultrasounds super excited super excited my friend is going to have a baby of course you'd be excited hey shop life goes on i've been pregnant with baby for like nine months obviously <laughs> but like for like a while and then mm -hmm, hold up roll back roll back so do you guys remember the story where in high school i had a very very close friend and she then stole my boyfriend if you don't i'll link it also um i had a friend who then stole my boyfriend and i found out at church all of that yeah so this friend um we had been weird for like a while understandably she stole my man we had been weird for a while but we we're still working on our friendship and then it got to a point where we she also stays in soweto i went to go visit her um i went to I'm, i don't like the fact that i'm now hurrying anyway um i went to go visit her in soweto where she stays um uh, and she had invited me because there was a party happening um with some of her friends from her her kasi they were having a, like a whole thing and she's like hey come through it's gonna be fun so i went there with my uh, roommate my varsity roommate we had there we went there we had fun so when we were at the party there was this pretty guy oh he was a good looking man he was a very good looking man there was this good looking man who was interested in me and he like kept trying to talk to me and whatever whatever and like i talked back because he's cute or whatever but like you know i wasn't uh showing that i'm cute i was cute I was very keen but I wasn't showing that I'm keen you know and then she then like got involved and she was like yeah this is my friend what are your intentions with my friend all of that but like she was so in the conversation that it triggered me to what happened um in in high school where she stole my boyfriend and I was just like this feels oddly familiar you get me this this man has a tinge it has a it has a smell and where there's fish the smell was what what's the saying with the smoke there's fire man with the smoke there's fire and it has a fish what's the fish saying it smells like fish what's the thing what's the saying anyway it smells like fish it smells like fish and i was just like mm, i don't like this i don't i don't like how i feel about it so later when we went home i told her i was like chom this made me feel this way and and i didn't like that i didn't like how i felt about it and she's just like you know what i apologize i'm sorry that you felt that i made you feel that way again and i feel like you haven't healed and i feel like you still need to heal from what had happened um to us before so maybe you and i should like take a friendship break and i was like okay that's not the reaction i expected but okay we can do that we can do that and then that's what we did and obviously then my friend magdalena asks me that this is way before she tells me she's pregnant um asks me so how did the weekend go with with a baby girl and i tell her about it and that we've taken a friendship break and whatever whatever, whatever. cool a few weeks later um before like she before i was with my current partner this is before i was with my current partner this is before she was with her baby daddy this is before all of that she's then dating some other guy as well but this guy stays in baby girl who stole my boyfriend her name was beauty i named beauty, her beauty in the story time she stays in her kasi and then she later finds out because she told u beauty that hey ngjele kasi yakho type of thing and then u beauty then befriended this guy and then u beauty ended up dating this guy so u beauty basically did what she did to me to u magdalena i i hope you guys are following what she did to me in high school she now did to u magdalena later on in life when we were adults cool so Magdalena obviously comes to me and tells me about it because yo dog this is what happened oh yes it angers me because why are you doing this again if you say that you you wish you could take it back what you did to me why would you do it to another friend of ours like why is this your person why is this who you are does your mom know that these are the things you do like why is this the person that you are in your heart you get me like in be in be it's not cute like stop it you know like i felt very angry i felt very angry um on umagdalina's behalf and it also then brought up the feelings that i felt imagining that now my close friend umagdalina is feeling the way that i felt because of same person same person i saw this me so one all the time 
all the time when now you're seeing about all the time. Surely, surely. Oh, Nancy, Ben, Magdalena tells me, and we talk about it. We vent, and I somehow now feel like there's somebody who gets like how I feel. There's somebody who who understands how beauty makes me feel because in our whole friendship, whenever I would like talk about it, it would be a thing of, ah, oh, Chom, we're so sorry that that happened to you. I'm so sorry, friend. I'm sorry, but like. I didn't feel like anybody gets it because this person is still in my friend group. <laughs> I still see her all the time. So now I feel like there's somebody who actually gets those feelings. You get me? Hey, Chapu, they have a tip about it and is ngeni, but I'm there for my friend, Uu Magdalena. Cool, they don't talk for a while. That's the last I heard about it. But they don't talk anymore. They like had a huge fight. A friendship. Because stupid, booba the fool, idiot. After she tells me she's pregnant, this is now a year, a year or so later. She tells me she's pregnant. Um, months go by. I am deputy mom. I am also now expecting a baby. The way I went into uh, planning mode, I am now also expecting a child. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god, I think I was brought into this world to suffer. To suffer because what? I'm actually getting angry all over again. Anyway, so cool. Um she I'm chilling on my phone and she posts a picture on her status and it's her and oh beauty. And I'm like oh. <laughs> Oh, how? Oh. You know, I'm just like, okay, that's weird. That's suspicious. Like, come on. Eh? But at the same time, I'm like, hey, hi. Okay, I continue. And, um, cool. Oh, beauty. Not a beauty. Magdalena, my friend, starts a YouTube channel. Why am I pink here? Starts a YouTube channel. Um, does beauty stuff not does beauty but <laughs> yeah, that sounded so wrong she did not do beauty but she did beauty she did beauty content makeup and everything and i oh and she has the channel i subscribe obviously that's my friend that's my girl you go girl i already have a channel at this point um i think i had like five thousand if not ten thousand subbies or something like that but it was in the thousands already and i had like views and she then posts oh she then um asks a general question on her stories um about youtube on some um how do i get i don't know if it was views or if it was i don't know but it had something to do with youtube how do i do this on youtube and i respond because I am on YouTube. Like I know YouTube, even though I'm also kind of new, but but I'm not as new as you and, and I'm 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 I I have gotten the hang of YouTube now. So I respond and I advise her, um, because you know, do this, do that, do that. Um I think I also advised her on her videos, would you know stop doing this, stop doing that, um, you know, get a thumbnail that looks like this and not like that. Um don't you know, I, I gave her like advice that I thought would work for her um oh beauty the other friend then also advises her i guess and then she posts a status of what oh beauty said and posts on her on her store on her status yes yeah, she, she, she took a screenshot and posted on her status and i was just like this is petty for of me to be touched about this is petty it's childish it's very childish and i always say to my friends to my partner to anybody in my life if something is seems stupid to you if something seems petty like oh or you should not be angry about this or oh, you should not be touched about this that should not be your first thought your first thought should be oh shit or oh, he's touched not that i i find this childish it's fine if you find it childish but it hurts me as as your friend 
so then your first thought should be always touch how do i fix it how do i make oi okay because that is my thought process also like if my friend tells me chum i don't like the fact that you do that you did abc my first thought wouldn't be oh that's so stupid that's so childish why would you be touched about that my first thought would be oh i hurt my friend it doesn't matter if it's childish to me to her it isn't it's not childish to the other person the fact that i find it childish doesn't matter you get me so she posts that and i comment i'm like how <laughs> how dog and then and like i don't get it if anything maybe post what everybody else said and i think i was also coming from a place where I, uh, me and beauty are not okay so i was maybe jealous maybe we could say that listen i'm going to admit my feelings i'm not going to lie i'm not going to come here and look macho and look strong i was jealous of the fact that i also gave you advice but you only post one person's advice a person that doesn't even have a youtube channel let's leave that a person that is not even active on social media like so i'm just like why don't you like wow well, i don't get it and she's just like oh no man i just posted it because i really liked what she said i'm like so when you are asking to hear things that you like that's why you are asking but okay sure i leave it i leave that um life goes on for a while she's still pregnant life goes on for a while and at some point um she posts a picture of them i don't know if who visited who between the two of them but one visited the other and they took pictures and she posted it she posted it and i was just like you know what <laughs> You're like one of my closest friends and and I hate that I, I I'm touched by this but you continue to do it like you you keep posting her and you know how I feel about her and last I checked I knew how you feel about her like when you guys went okay you came to me to tell me beauty did this beauty did that but then when you guys are okay you don't come back and be like hey by the way my boy we fix things like you know you didn't do that now viti viti surprise i see her on your stories and you don't even have the respect for me to block me first of all you could have just blocked me and i don't see it uh, or, or like give me a heads up that's what i would have really appreciated when you and her started being friends come to me be like hey i know i told you this but it's chinchili zinto we fix things we're okay i would have never ever told her don't be friends with this person don't do this with this person it was just that i was caught off guard like hey boo Hey boo, hey boo, you know, and like, like it's such a petty thing, but like feelings are involved, and you know when feelings are involved, little petty things become big things, especially when they are not taken seriously. I know, like for example, with me, if a little thing, if you step on my foot and I bring it up and you just thingy me, it's gonna become a big thing because when I like that, first of all, but. If I'm just like, oh, you stepped on my foot and you're just like, oh, sorry, my bad. I didn't mean to. It's all true. Like, I'm very, like, guys, we could have, like, a big fight. And one little apology and I'm back to being chopped. Like, I let go of things very quickly. But, like, if you then make me stupid fool and, and you, 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 you put yourself above my feelings, which is something I would never do to somebody else, I get touched. And the thing is, you know how they say time uh, makes you calm? like if if you are angry you and you give it time you calm down yeah i don't do that i get angry <laughs> i get angrier if you give me time to calm down the whole time i'm thinking about and click and hella. no actually no if we're being serious Danielle, like at this situation i get angrier like time does not heal my wounds time makes me angrier until i forget but it takes a long time for me to forget i just get angrier and angrier and angrier and angrier anyway I offer him there for a little bit my my fairness is burning so i tell her that listen um i don't understand why like this is going on you didn't tell me so i am quite shocked um but um i just want to let you know how i feel about it and she's just like <laughs> word for word <laughs> word and then they, when they put inverted commas yeah let's open inverted comma right now this is what baby girl says you know what oi right now i don't care how you feel close inverted comma awesome okay <laughs> okay okay maybe i can 
learn English. <laughs> Maybe in like it's a slow me. Because what? What? Okay. Okay. Hi, yeah. I literally don't respond because what the F I've never spoken to my friends that way I don't want anybody to speak to me that way the, the same respect I give I expect to get yes we make fun of each other yes we joke around and whatever but when it's something serious I do you know what I am right now I don't care down I'm okay right I've basically been put in my place. She's told me where I stand with her, and that's fine. And if you think this is the worst, second move as well. This is still beginning stages. She sends that. I'm like, okay, cool. What's the time? Ooh, I have seven minutes. Cool. I don't respond to her. I literally don't respond because I'm like, no, 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 no. She, guys, when I tell you that was her last message until she went to give birth and what did i tell you time does not heal my wounds and i get angrier so the more time that she was she kept quiet and i also kept quiet i was not healing i was not getting over what she said i was just every time i see her stairs like, god damn it and i go to the next one you know I just got angrier and angrier and even when she gave birth that like, I didn't even congratulate her even though I was so part of her pregnancy until her eighth month when she told me she doesn't care. I was just like whatever. And then I care is maybe like two, three months at this point. And she sends me a text. Hey, um, I just really wanted to apologize. I'd like to apologize for what I said to you. I was eight months pregnant and I was just going through a lot um, and I did not um, want to focus on anything else. At that point, I was like, okay, maybe it's because I've never been pregnant, you know? And then I felt pregnant. And then I got to eight months of pregnancy and I was still careful of other people's feelings. I, I did not speak to anybody in I did not speak to anybody as though I'm coming down a mountain. You know? But each to their own. Pregnancies are different. Anyway, I said I'll keep it clean. Um so she sends that apology. I'm like, you know what? Um uh, it's okay. Um uh, apology is long overdue, but it's okay. Let's just put it past us. Like it's fine. How is your baby? Like, I, 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 I'm just excited about the baby. How's the baby? Who, hi, we talk about the baby. Hi, it's really to Now we back to like being us. I told you guys, like, all it takes for me is a simple apology and I'm over whatever happened. I'm still here. I'm trying to catch her up on my current life, asking her how's motherhood, how's baby daddy, all of that, all of that. Okay, I swear right, I swear right. April comes 2021. April last year comes and on the 17th, I think I bought my car on the 17th of April. I think I bought my car um, and I posted it everywhere. So the next day was our other friend's baby shower. But the day I bought my, my car on a Saturday, the Sunday was a baby shower. On the Saturday, obviously I'm gonna post a body. I worked for it. I saved up for this car. I bought it by myself with nobody's help. Of course I'm gonna post about it. I post about it um, obviously everybody congratulates me I'm so over the moon she congratulates me as well everything is beautiful this is where the movie starts da -da -da -dang. the next day is the baby shower we go going to baby shower it's a surprise baby shower so uh, the pregnant tea didn't know that it's her baby shower so we're surprising her so when I get to the venue um, I couldn't see any cars outside so I guess the cars were so that she doesn't suspect anything so I thought I was lost because I couldn't see any cars outside so I call um, one of our friends who was like part of the plan she's very tight with the pregnant girl so she had planned this baby shower and invited the rest of us so I call her shout out to her love you babe love you love you that's one of like my tightest tightest friends um, I call her I'm like hey bro I'm outside I can't see any cars 
and she's like i'm like i'm not sure if i'm at the right place she's like okay let me come outside and i'll i'll if i see you then you're at the right place i'm like okay cool she stands up she comes outside now keep this in mind she comes outside to me i see her i park the car and i go inside so i'm at the right place uh <laughs> I get inside. Oh, beauty is invited, obviously. No, Magda is here. Everybody's here. Magda's here with her baby. Everything. I hug everyone and I hug Oh, beauty and she doesn't hug me back. So I look like a stupid fool in front of everyone. So I hug her and she just is rigid. And I was just like, this is so weird. <laughs> because even if we have beef, guys, even if like we're not okay, the fact that we are at somebody else's event, somebody else's special occasion, surely we can put that aside and act cordial just so the event can go well. Like, sing a after school and get beef here to afterwards. But like, during somebody's something, surely we can put our differences, especially because we care about this person. But each to their own. She doesn't hug me back. And now my friends are here. My friends don't hide anything. When she doesn't hug me back, everybody at the table laughs. And I'm just like, Lady Chupit, Lady Chupit, because you're laughing at stupid things at your big ages. We all laugh about it. We're all cool. I sit down and I sit directly opposite Ubit. Directly opposite. Because I was like, and I will make you uncomfortable. I want to make you uncomfortable. I sit down and I'm chatting to everybody everything is nice like it's just cute waiting for the pregnant girl to come because it's a surprise my one friend is like to me not upit or magdalena another friend is like to me sure also my nails like you see how they are now that there's no nail here so yeah it's embarrassing that most of the time this is my life but i think i was missing a few nails i think like two nails on this hand and one nail on this hand or something like that ghetto i know but it is what it is man <laughs> it is what it is i'm chilling and she's like oh influencer is wrong it's not manala felicity that means what kind of influencer are you without a full set of nails and i respond i'm like no chomi not chalete yaki felicity mo koloing i cannot chalete ya manala that means my money finished with the car that i bought yesterday so i don't have any more money for nails at this current point so i say that and i laugh and she laughs with me as well and we just like giggle but like she kept like so it, nobody else laughed it was just the two of us and i was just like okay whatever maybe that wasn't that funny <laughs> okay cool and then we're all chatting and but like she keeps taking jabs at me like she keeps saying little things but like because i know her personality and i know like she's that kind of person i would like also but i also have something to say back you know and also like she made a comment about my wig at some point and i also like you know say something about her hair and you know it would just be like a, a back and forth type of thing so i thought so i thought uh, but it wasn't like harmful statements you know it wasn't like jagular it was just like surface level comments you know and yeah now that is the kind of person she is like you if you don't know her you'll be very hurt by her comments like she says things and she says them with a straight face and you just be like yo but like if you know her you'll be like I'm trail guy, but when I'm trail guy, type of thing so she says that she like she says a lot she says a lot she says a lot sharp <laughs> oh it's low shading but okay the lighting it's not that bad right i'm so sorry guys but it's slow shading so my lights went off luckily my camera is charged my camera battery is charged so the baby shower starts baby girl arrives everything is cute everything is nice um there's no like weird weirdness like we're all fine um me and magdalena are chatting i met her baby everything is cute um ooh, 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 beauty is still being weird with me and her <laughs> on her so beauty and magdalena are sitting next to each other but i'm like you know what i'm not gonna be touched about it because that's not what I, why i'm here like i'm not here for that it's fine it's it's so fine so we go dish up and it's a buffet so we are standing in line and oh beauty is in front of me standing in front like she's dishing up before me i'm behind her so um i'm like Tell me, are you going to take chicken or beef? And she says, no, I'm gonna take chicken. And I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna dish up beef and then I'm gonna taste the chicken from your plate and then you can taste the beef from my plate. And she keeps quiet, she doesn't respond. I'm like, okay, maybe she didn't hear me. <laughs> maybe I'm not audible. <laughs> maybe she didn't hear me. But I'm just like, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's whatever. When she gets to the meat, she dishes up the beef. I'm like, 
I just shop the chicken. Okay, but in front of her is Upiuti. And she keeps talking to Upiuti, but she's not talking to me. And I'm like, ah, you know what? Oh, you're an adult. Like, you can't be angry at such petty things anymore. Like, leave it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. She doesn't owe you much. Okay, cool. We go sit down to eat now. We're eating, we're eating, and I keep trying to make conversations, no Magdalena, but I look like a stupid fool because I'd say something and she'd giggle and then talk to U Beauty. I mean, I'm making, I'm trying to make conversations with Magdalena. For example, if you say, Sure, Chomi, the spinach is so nice, did you dish up the spinach? And she'd be like, <laughs> Um, what's, what's going on? What's going on? What is this? What's this? But I was just like, you know what, like, it's fine, like, sharp, like, everything I say, she's just like, <laughs> like, I don't know if it's a question, you get me, hey, okay, sharp, life goes on, eventually they leave, she said bye to me, at least, to Magdalena, oh, beauty, obviously not, Magdalena said bye to me, and she left, and after she left, so, in our friend group, um, Sizi Chomi, and we would all go out in high school right like go to the mall or whatever whatever but then there are people who then have like sisters or cousins that would be like oh my sister's gonna join or oh, my cousin is gonna come with us wherever we're going type of thing so then we then became friends with them as well you know maybe like if we would go out to be like hey is your cousin coming type of thing so we're all tight and two of the cousins were invited to the baby shower because they were close with the pregnant lady so they came and um, after the, the Magdalena and U, U, U Nanzika leave, so the three of them, U Magdalena, no beauty, and the girl that was make, my friend, my friend who was making fun of my nails and like jabbing at me, they left because they all came together because they all stay in Soweto. So they left. Cool. And the cousin, like two of the cousins were sitting next to each other and then I was supposed to sit with them. And then they're like, hey, Ellen, what's going on? And I'm with what? They're like, are you friends with Omagdalena and the girl that was commenting about your nail? I call her the nail lady. Are you friends with Magdalena and the nail lady? I'm like, yeah, we're still cool, still tight. Um, but obviously you guys know my situation, no beauty, like it was never fixed. And they're like, oh, funny, because I would lie to you today, you looked like an idiot. I'm like, what do you mean you look, I look like an idiot? They're like, when you called saying you, you might be lost and then your friend, I won't say her name, I'll say Al. Al came to, to, to find you outside. When Al stood up, they had a lot to say about you. And Al is the one I'm tightest, like she's the one who doesn't take nonsense. She's that friend, you're going to, when you're gossiping about another friend, she'll be like, you're not gonna do that in my presence. So they waited for her to stand up and come fetch me and they were like, <laughs> They're like, oh baby girl is here. She's the one that's calling, asking to be fetched outside. And apparently the one made a comment good oh watch how she's gonna put her car keys on the table so that we can all see that she bought a new car of course i'm gonna put them on the table because i did buy a new car of course it goes without saying but apparently they were like these are my friends by the way these are my friends making these comments watch how she's gonna put her car keys on the table because she wants all of us to see that she bought a new car and she probably wants all of us to be like oh congratulations oi she wants all of us to be like up her katoon katook you know and apparently the one is like yeah you're gonna see she's gonna come with a face beat on because she thinks this is an influencer event she's gonna come with a face and i did have a face beat on <laughs> I, I, my ear. Do you understand? These are petty, childish comments. You know, like they're so stupid. They're so dumb. Apparently, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm probably gonna come there and I'm gonna try steal the show with talking too much. Everybody knows I talk too much. Everybody knows it's nothing new. I talk too much. 
still gonna come in. She's gonna talk too much, trying to steal for show. Hey, her car. She's probably gonna be talking about her car a lot. What, 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 what. So then the cousins are like, yeah. So when the nail lady made the comment, which is when our influencer is wrong, that Anali Manala are shot down. You laughed about it, but because we had had, we had heard had. We had heard the prior comments to you coming. We knew it wasn't coming from a cute place. So I was just like, how? Me, I thought we were joking. <laughs> Me, I thought it was jokes. But no, it's not jokes. They were actually like jabbing. And apparently they had had like a fat chat, like before I came in about how I'm going to be, how I'm going to be, you know? And I'm just like, how? Me? I know. Cool. Um, I they tell me this, and I'm just I'm shocked. Obviously, I'm like, oh, I thought these people were my friends, but at the same time, I'm like, ah, man, it's so stupid. Like, it's such stupid comments. I'm just like, I'm not even gonna take it up to. I, yeah, okay, man. I don't even confront anyone. I don't ask anyone about it. Like, I'm just like, ah, whatever. The next day, we are all exchanging pictures, obviously from the baby shower, and everything is like cute. Everything is normal. One thing about me, let me tell you guys. If you've ever gotten into it with me, if you and I club any, just know I have the chats on my phone. Hey, I don't delete chats, no matter what. We went in. I have, like, I keep chats because I'm funu twa I don't want you to then go tell people. Hey, or you said I have receipts. I have receipts, and I'm not scared to bring them out. Hey. I'm not scared. I kept quiet. I'm like, it's stupid. We are adults. Please. Like, we're old. Like, why? Why will I fight with you about you saying that I'm going to come with a face beat? When I do come with a face beat, you ain't lie. You didn't lie. And that's fine. What you think about me always having a face beat on is not my issue. It's not my issue. I look very cute with a face beat, if we're being honest. The news gets to the lady whose baby shower it was, our friend. It gets to her and she's like, they did what at my baby shower? She then confronts them and says, why would you guys come with like such a negative attitude at my baby shower? Like, why would y'all do that? She confronts them and they then like, obviously talk to her, deny, 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 whatever. Nobody comes to me until a day later. So obviously, baby shower girl tells me, Kiba confrontile. Na kiba tag. Na kiba confrontile. I asked them, why would they do this at my baby shower? What, 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 what? And I was like, eh, chum, okay. Like, what did they say? And she's like, no, but pile. Like, they denied everything. They denied. I was like, eh, okay. Sharp. A day later, the nail lady, my friend, who commented about my nails, is like, chum, I heard apparently this and this and this happened at the baby shower. That's not how I remember it, and I was not part of that conversation. I'm like, oh, I heard that too, funny enough. Um, and I was just surprised, Woody, you, you're my friend, dog. Like, you're my friend, and why would you make such comments? But, like, I'm past it. Like, I don't care, guys. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Even the fact that you guys think I'm an influencer and keep calling me influencer, I don't see myself as an influencer at that time. I do now. At that time, so I was just like, it's fine. Like, <laughs> And she obviously is like, no, um, I did. So this is where she messed up. She's like, I didn't say that. What was said when we were still at Magdalena's house was this and this. I was like, oh, so I was a topic of discussion when you guys were at Magdalena's house. You, as a really close friend of mine, knowing where I stand, no beauty, why would you participate in a conversation about me in front of Ubuti? And apparently Ubuti had a lot to say about me. And I was like, why would she be comfortable saying all of these things in front of you when you are one of my close friends? Like, what, what, not even gives her the call, what, why is she comfortable to say, that means you made her comfortable in saying that. I'm not saying that you probably said something too, but like, you weren't diffusing the situation. Like, you weren't diffusing, I know very well, if somebody were to say something about you in front of me, I'd cut that chat. Like, I, guys, this person is not here, we're not going to talk about her. We're not going to talk about her. If you have anything to say, keep it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. We will talk about it at the baby shower where she will be. You get me? Like, why were they so comfortable speaking so much smack about your friend in front of you? 
no chomi yeah, yeah, yeah. i was like you know what like it's fine guys it's like it's fine this does not add or subtract anything from my life it's fine like it's okay hey it paid what then tricks me i'm chilling and remember i told you i subscribed to magdalena's channel <laughs> i go on youtube um and her first video her video is the first one that pops up and the topic is my pregnancy journey or something like that i click on it i'm listening i'm like oh shape i was here for this part of the pregnancy journey <laughs> but there's a part where i won't obviously be in because we had like our fallout so that's like gonna be very interesting to me because like i want to know how your pregnancy journey was i genuinely want to know so she goes on and on and on and then she gets to a part where so me and her quarrel happened at eight months she gets to a part where she's like yeah so at some point between six and nine months <laughs> i said i'd behave she's like at some point since at some point between six and eight months i lost a lot of friends um and i don't regret losing those friends because um i was going through a, a pregnancy and they were just murwalo type like that's what she said like we you know that that chicken licking ad where this thing keeps growing and growing and growing she was saying we're, we're nuisance yes we're nuisance and she lost friends and you know she doesn't regret anybody she lost in her pregnancy during her pregnancy uh because that just shows you who the real ones are that shows you who the real ones are and who are not and whatever whatever i'm like what <laughs> because i'm one of them i comment on that video i comment on the video i'm like no but you came and apologized to me though so i don't get it yes so this is where i was wrong because this is not the wrong platform i should have texted her i should have called her because i have her number i should not have commented on her youtube video but i was angry and i told you guys my anger has no bounds i'm working on it as an adult grown woman mother i'm working on my anger so um, i comment on her video i'm like funny enough you apologize to me but now you come on beyonce's interwebs you are now on the interweb and you are saying you don't regret nothing who's fooling who like who's stupid between you and i who who's an idiot i was wrong i was wrong i should not have done that i admit shut 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 cool she i i post that on on her on her video she doesn't say anything she deletes the comment so i know she saw it she saw it so i'm sitting by my phone waiting for her to text she doesn't nail lady our friends who was commenting on my nail comes to me she's like how not you commenting on magdalena's youtube video i'm like how do you know it's like she sent me a screenshot so magdalena took a screenshot and sent it to everybody first before coming to me mm, okay 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 Kelly, there's no friendship here. Yeah, we're just taking each other for a Okay. She, I'll talk to Ooh, nail lady. I'm like, funny because she hasn't asked me anything about it. She's like, yeah, she is quite angry. She's angry. I'm like, why is she angry at everybody else? Why is she not coming to me telling me she's angry? I don't get it. But also, I didn't go to her and tell her she's angry. I went to YouTube. So we are both equally, you know? Anyway, shut day later she sends me the screenshot she's like and then question mark i'm like why are you only coming to me now after you went to the whole world first and she's like no i was just checking to see if anybody knew what you were talking about before i came to you i'm like you know damn well what i was talking about you know what i was talking about you know what i was talking about but i was just like okay i scrolled to the apology I was like, this is what I was talking about. But in the video, you said you didn't regret anything or you're okay with the friends you lost. But to me, you came to me apologetic and telling me that, like, what you did, you don't think it was okay. So I don't, I'm uncomfortable with the fact that you say one thing to me and then you go on the interwebs and you say something else. Like, it's weird. 
and she's like no i was actually talking about a specific friend um not you i was talking about uban bani we are friendship blah blah, blah 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 whatever whatever and i was like oh okay still weird but okay i hear you sorry i'm sorry that i made the comment cool <laughs> such a toxic friendship to be honest it was so toxic and then she decides to call off the friendship let me read what she says she's like um ah wow okay Oisa. if that's how you're going to be then it's okay i wish you nothing but happiness in your life um believe whatever it is that you were told it's okay i'm happy we cross paths again but this is where it's not healthy i don't want to be toxic for you and i don't want to be the reason you get all worked up so it's okay i think we can end whatever it is that we had i tried clearly not enough you can go ahead and believe whoever and that's okay and that that makes you happy that sentence doesn't make sense but that's what she typed that makes you happy and i was like i remember i keep justifying because i know i was wrong at, at like in some points like one thing about me i'm not the victim i'm not the victim in this situation we are both victims of each other i won't lie we are both victims of each other we both wronged each other but i'm angry and this is my video on my channel i was wrong in my response but remember she said you can believe whoever you want to believe and that's okay and then my response was i don't need your permission thanks and then i blocked her my um instagram notifications are off my instagram notifications are off um it's very hard hard to find me on instagram that's anyway so i wake up to like a long message on instagram and it takes a while for me to go on instagram so it took like a few hours before i saw it after i woke up god you know instagram stop papa hey boy <sighs> I go on Instagram <laughs> yeah. My husband just left for work well, That was my boyfriend at the time My boyfriend just left for work um, I'm laying alone in bed And I go on Instagram And I go to my DMs <sighs> Stop she sent me such a long message and the message started with actually i'm not done <laughs> oh, guys. you know when you to peel someone to peel. she was holding me like this that's what i was saying she was holding me like this. that's what to peel means you are such a horrible person oisa she had a lot to say how horrible i am how horrible my teeth are that's been getting happy and the has been getting happy horrible my teeth are how um i can't dance uh, how um what else did she say oh yeah how because i think i am now an influencer that they should bow down before me how how i think they should bow down before me how uh i'm so horrible i said a lot i got up i, I read the message I call my boyfriend, I tell him, Hey! You left a fire here. I read the message for him. He's like, no babe, you know what? Don't respond. You have more to lose than she does. Don't respond. Like just leave it. Go okay, sharp. I get in the shower. In the shower, I'm like, no. No. <laughs> I don't. And I can't keep quiet. You know, and your fingers are itching to respond. That was me in the shower. I was like, I'm not gonna let it go. No, like she saw me up and down. I can't and funny sang a na yo. She 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 translation. There's nothing that she didn't say. I look like. Yeah. I can't and funny sang a na yo guys. Und kululi. Let's took off all my clothes. She swore at me with everything. Like she said 
everything and then that makes me also question our friendship Guti, these are the things that you've been thinking the whole time so for example every time i talk to you you are looking at my teeth and you're just like yo her teeth though like the whole time like <laughs> i know i can't dance that didn't even touch me then i was just like oh, okay it's fine like she is she i couldn't understand something and now you she even said oh gosh she even said yeah all your story times will always be about how men broke your heart because you are such a horrible person that means that's how you feel about me. that's how you've been feeling about me you just now have an opportunity to say it i put my grandma's shower and come and pairs quack on top of her i take out my phone i respond also me i'm like First of all, not you. Not you. Now, do you find this and I don't get into? I also, I won't lie. I also swore back. I was also just like, no, actually, f off. Now, I also told her how I feel about her. I also told her her things. I would mention because I said I would be nice to her. So I won't tell you guys what I said to her. But I said a lot of horrible things. I said a lot of things that when I go to heaven, God is going to be like, ma'am, ma'am, and I'll be like. Ish. You also put me in a tough position, God. Also you. But anyway, she went. Oh, so I I respond on Instagram. After responding, I block her again. I block her. I get dressed. I was going to see our other friend Al, the one who came to fetch me outside. Um, I get dressed. In my getting dressed, ping, I message. This is her. She's going off. Yeva. going off at me she even at some point brought up because remember in 2019 i had the surgery where i was then told that i'd be barren and then me i thought me telling her as my friend which i'll never have babies would be an okay thing cuz you're my friend she brought that up cuz yeah that's why god decided to close your womb because of this and this he knew you'd be a horrible parent and don't don't come i respond I also go off. I go off. I go off. I go off. I block her number so that she can't send me i messages anymore. Guys, you won't believe it. You won't believe me. This was in their talk. There's no way you believe what I'm about to say. I got dressed. I got in the car. The minute I get in the car, Telegram. I bet two years where she was sent. You know she was sent by the devil. I bet two years. There's no way. She's going off on Instagram she's like, "Yeah, when I've always been jealous of Up Beauty because she's prettier than you." That's fine. There's so many people in this world that are prettier than me. <laughs> That's okay. I don't care. I don't care about them. My beef with her was not the fact that she's prettier than me. She's she still my boyfriend and she was my friend. Are you are you stupid? Are you stupid? Hi, she goes off at me. I'm give I'm give I'm give I'm give I responded. Dumbani. Ding bang him. I responded, "Nam dam give." But this time I went for the jugular. I won't say what. And for the jugular. I went to try to do stop responding and I was like, "Yeah, this is that." Stand up. So every every platform where she'd say something, I'd respond and then block. Respond then block. And then she'd fetch me on a on a different platform, I respond, I block. You get me. Oh, on Telegram, she kept quiet. Did you pay Lil? It's done now you see. I get to my friend. I am giving her chats. I'm like, "Yo, not u uh, Magdalena in the morning." I'm showing her. I'm showing her. The minute I'm done showing her all these platforms, she's like, "Funny story. You see this last one where you went for the jugular on Telegram. She screenshotted your response and she sent it to everyone we know." So everybody and guys, what I said was, "Yeah, She sent that to everybody and everybody was like, "Oh, he, how dare she?" And then some people were like, "What did you say though? What why why would she she wouldn't we know Oi is not crazy. Oi has a mouth on her. I have a mouth. I mm. Oi has a mouth, but she doesn't say I don't say things jenje. Like I always say I'm very cognizant of other people's feelings because I expect I'm I'm a very sensitive person. So I expect people to be cognizant of my feelings. So I return that energy. I also am very cognizant of other people's feelings. Anyway, Yanjalo get in don. She sent it to everyone. 
everyone literally i got a call from our other friend and she's like stop responding to magdalena because this is going to taint your reputation stop responding to her and she's like you know how that girl is like she's trying to get a reaction out of you stop it like leave it don't know i've left it but if she i will but i've left it no i've left it so yeah i hope i never see baby girl for the rest of my life ever if i do i'll be cordial but i pray i don't because i don't need to see her like i'm sure she's she still looks the same way she does nothing has changed so i'm okay with knowing her as who she's been i don't want to update my my, my memory of her i'm fine i'm okay but that's what happened that's the toxic friendship that i was in um i don't want to say jealousy because i don't think she probably was but I, I didn't get that at the time that that she's jealous of me i i don't think there was anything to be jealous of you know so she hurt my feelings yes she did um she was mean to me yes she was um she was toxic for me i was toxic for her as well uh but i don't think it was jealousy you know um I even made the example to other people that yeah she's saying guti um oh so people would tell me that no she's probably jealous of you because you have a car you make your own money whatever whatever i'm like no but then the same can be said for me that i'm jealous of her i can't have kids and she has a beautiful baby boy like i i am also jealous of her in, but like i'm not being toxic about it you get me so yeah i don't believe she yeah, it doesn't matter but that's the end of my story time. so this is the end of my story time thank you so so much for watching i love you guys to the moon and back into the moon again tell me what you guys think i would love to hear from you guys um i'm actually quite nervous because the last time i asked for your opinion on a story time you guys had me you guys were telling me all oh, you were wrong i know i was wrong in the situation also but it happened it's it it's it but yes please do not forget if you enjoyed the story time to hit that super thanks and also the normal like as well i don't know why i said that with Alyssa, you know but anyway they both mean a lot to me but please please do comment i love you guys to the moon and back into the moon again and back again and so on and so forth bye